This is the Home and Data CF Express Type A card. This 256 gigabyte CF Express Type A card costs only 139 US dollars, whereas the Sony variant costs about $324, and that is only 160 gigabytes. You do the math. You tell me which has more value. And the CF Express Type A card reader from Home and Data only costs about $70. Whereas the Sony variant, again, costs more at $120. So you can kind of see the theme that I'm throwing at you right now, that Home and Data indeed offers more value for your hard-earned money. So the Home and CF Express Type A card has a maximum read speed of 800 megabytes per second, and it has a maximum write speed of 700 megabytes per second, which is in par with the Sony CF Express Type A Tough Cards, which has the same data. So this is what the CF Express Type A card looks like. It's a lot more durable than your typical SD cards, mainly because of the bottom metal housing. If you look closely at this part right here, it is made of metal and the front part of the body is metal as well, which can withstand a lot more abuse than your typical SD cards. So who exactly is the CF Express Type A card for? So if you are like me who uses an A7S III, which is the one I'm filming on right now, or an A7 IV, both of which cameras have CF Express Type A card slots. So if you're a user of that such, I would suggest that you go for a CF Express Type A card. It's just more reliable, a lot more fast. Not only does it allow you to shoot like 4K 120 or 10-bit 422 in 4K with ease, it just gives you a little bit more security when it comes to cards because these things are built better than SD cards like what I mentioned. They are half metal, instead of this, which is full plastic. And I think if you drop either of these, although I've never had one SD card that failed on me or corrupted because I dropped it, this has a better chance of surviving that kind of abuse. And one more thing, if you are an A7S III user and you wanna use the SNQ mode in 10-bit 422 at 4K, you're gonna to have to really use a CF Express Type 8 card because the A7S III, which can shoot that, will not allow you to use a V90 card. So that's just something to keep in mind. Although, you're not gonna use that bitrate most of the time, right? So if you're still on the fence of buying the CF Express Type A card by Homan Data, Homan also has the V90 cards, right, this one. So it's not gonna be as fast as the CF Express Type A card, but this will be able to handle most of the bit rates and the frame rates of the A7 IV and the A7S III, except 4K 120, I think, if I remember correctly. But if you're just mainly doing photos and you don't really need a very powerful SD card, you can also settle for Home and Data's V60 cards, which has about a read speed of 200 megabytes per second and a write speed of 150. So if you're not doing high burst photo modes, this is gonna be well enough for you. This is a lot cheaper than both the V90 and the CF Express Type A card. So just to give you a peace of mind, I've already shot a wedding with this CF Express Type A card. It has not failed on me. Weddings are very scary to film because you only get to film it once. I've also been shooting all of my YouTube videos, both the C with the CF Express Type A card and the V90. And my wife has been shooting with the V60 cards for shooting with photos with her Canon 60. And all of these cards have never crashed. They, have, they are very reliable. You can take my word for it. I would not sell you guys a product if I don't trust it, especially on this channel where I want you guys to make the best decision when it comes to spending your hard earned money. So I'm gonna be leaving a link down below to Home and Data's website. They're not available on Amazon yet, but I've been coordinating with their marketing representative. They said that in the future, they will put their products or their SD cards and their card readers on Amazon. And just to give you a little bit of background, Home and Data is not new to the filmmaking and photography business. They are owned by Vaxis, which is a big company that makes HDMI transmitters and a lot of different professional level accessories that are used in the filmmaking world. So to be honest, I was a little bit hesitant to make this video when Home and Data first reached out to me, but after knowing about their background and their relationship with Vaxis, I now 100% trust them and I've already used their SD cards for multiple shoots for the past few months. So that is it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.